What is happening, guys? I'm back after a long, long break from YouTube. Um, sorry about that, by the way. I've just been caught up with work, with school, with life in general. And I think this video is gonna make up for that long break that I took. Really hope it does. Okay, let's start off with a little story. So, if you know me, you know the car that I've always wanted. And I finally got it. And it's sitting right in front of me, and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but yeah, if you do know me, then you already know what car it is. And you might already know what car it is just by if I said, I'm getting a new car on this title, then you probably already know what it is. So, but all right, let's get into the story. So basically, I went to this place in Orlando called AV Auto Imports. Really cool guys, really, really sick cars. Um, and they basically made me want to actually go for it and try to get one. Reason being, um, I always knew that you could finance these cars, but I didn't know that it was a lot easier than it seemed. So I never really tried that and I just thought, okay, I guess I gotta save up all that money and then just cough it up all at once. However, um, I looked around, I found some loan places. Um, I got denied a total of three times for a loan. Um, and I don't know, it just put me down a lot. It felt like, okay, I'm never gonna get this car. So I just kind of gave up on it. I gave up on it for about two weeks and then all of a sudden I get some good news about a loan and I went for it. So yes, this car is being financed, but whatever, I'm happy with it. It's a dream come true to be honest with you. Um, the car does need work, just know that. The car is not nearly how I want it to look like. It runs, it drives perfect right now. Um, it's on brand new tires. It's, it's basically ready to drift, which is what I've always wanted to do. Now, the speed is still around. Don't worry, I did not sell the speed. Um, it is my daily driver still. I am still driving it. I still take it to shows. I still love this car. It was my first like love uh, after my first car, which I honestly didn't really even like that much. But yes, this is like my first show car. Yeah first show car to me at least it looks like a show car to me um, still needs a little bit of work um, by the way uh, I'm going to Tudor Evo in Daytona April 21st catch me out there come out uh, hopefully I will have both cars out there that would be super super sick um, I'm kind of surprised the speed got in by itself but if I could have two cars there for my first Tudor Evo that would be like a, the, my wildest dream come true having two sick sick cars sitting pretty right next to each other i don't know i feel blessed to have both these cars in my position and i hope you guys like the car that i picked so without further ado this is the car would you stop being such a pain in the ass and just tell us but you have to swear to me that you won't tell Takumi anything about what I'm going to say to you. I promise we won't say a thing to him. Then I'm happy to tell you. That single thing is... He has a lost race. I pull up screaming, nigga, we no equal to you. And just because you see us smoking, don't think we slipping for you. I caught you. In my DMs, trying to link for a few. Cold face, she trying to fuck. She had emojis included. I don't fuck with niggas, that's why I stay so reclusive. If he ever pull up on me, I'ma get so abusive. I buy a box of backwoods, rip them up in a bugle. Alright, guys, yes, it is a 1991 Nissan Skyline GTST. do a quick little walk around and overview of the car. So the car um, has a body kit on it. Um, I'm not quite sure what brand it is. However, it does kind of look like an origin body kit to me. The front end does kind of look like an origin body kit. Um, it came with side skirts originally when it was um, imported by Monty Motors in Tampa. I actually picked this up from a the owner of it who lives in um, Hialeah. 
So, shout out to him for the good ass price for this car. Uh, yeah, let's let's move on. So, I'm not quite sure what wheels these are. They look like reps. I haven't taken them off the car. Um, I did already buy wheels for this car. I actually bought wheels last night for this car. The night before I picked this up, I bought wheels for this car, knowing what I want the car to look like because I have an exact image in my head of how I want this car to turn out. Um, probably my favorite favorite part about this car in, sp in particular is the fact that it has a half cage in it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It has a half cage, baby. That is sick. I've always wanted a roll cage in my car. The speed has a harness bar, but that's nowhere near a cage. Um, moving on. So, it, like I said, it does have a body kit. This is the rear bumper. Um, I believe it, it, it's part of the body kit that was supposed to be for the front um, side skirts and this rear bumper. The car had side skirts, like I said, when it came um, from Japan, but I don't know what happened to them. It didn't come with the car when I bought it, but that's okay. I could. I already. Um, I'm just gonna buy new ones. It's good. I already found them. I'm gonna buy them tonight. It's good. The car is getting painted, by the way. The paint is extremely, extremely rough. I think if Eloy was here, he would have a seizure as to how many swirl marks are in this paint. You can kind of tell that this car was drifted when it was in Japan, just because, I don't know. I've seen people, the way they make their cars in Japan, and they make them sick, they make them run forever. Super reliable cars. You could daily drive any of the drift cars in Japan. And that's what I feel like happened to this car. It was drifted, but it was butt taken care of. And then it got sent here, and I don't know. I don't know if the owner, a previous owner didn't take too good care of it or, or what. It did, it was just sitting there collecting dust when I picked it up. But uh, it does run, it does drive, perfect. All the gears shift, um, no grinding, nothing really weird with the car. Uh, I actually did get a plate for it too. I got a plate today right after I bought the car and as I was pulling out of the parking lot my rear bumper fell off but I just zip tied it back on the bumpers have some cracks in them and stuff but um my boy Meatwad if you follow Goodwin's channel um, he's also been on this channel also you know who Meatwad is he was the he also helped me um, look for these cars um, mainly it was me and my girlfriend looking for the cars my girlfriend found um, a few cars and we went to go look at them but they all had stuff wrong with them and just we we came to an agreement that it wasn't worth the purchase wasn't worth our time and then we found this one thinking going into it thinking it's gonna be a piece of crap because of the bad pictures that the guy took but when we showed up that guy told me the price that he wanted which wasn't the same price that was posted on Craigslist and I was like wow I think I'm literally gonna leave with this car right now and that's what happened so I picked it up I got it registered, it's drivable, it's street legal, it's um, registered to Florida and everything, legally imported by Monty Motors in Tampa, shout out to them. I've been following them for a while, was thinking about going that route of getting a car imported by like Rivsu or Montu or maybe AB Autos imports, but I also did just kind of want to find one local that I could just go cash in hand, pick up and drive away with that same day and not have to worry about the whole importing process and warranties and something happening to the car. So this is what I ended up with. Anyways. Okay, back to story time. So, the first car I saw, I just decided I'm gonna go on Craigslist one day. I typed in Nissan Skyline GTST, the exact model that I wanted, um, for two reasons, off topic a little bit. GTRs, yes, sick, would love one, just way too expensive. So yes, I am kind of settling, I guess, if you would, for this car, but I, this was the car that I fell in love with when I was seven. I saw an R32 GTR at a car show with my dad and I was like, I'm gonna own one of those for sure one day. And then here I am. <laughs> what is it, 14 years later, here I am with the car that I fell in love with when I was seven. So it is kind of crazy to think that I own this car and I can drive this car when I see them on the streets and I freak out and I'm a fanboy or at car shows and I'm a fanboy. But now I own one and it is gonna be nice. Um, 
Trust me, it will be nice. I already have an idea. Me and my girlfriend have been talking about it ever since I even started talking about really like for sure getting one of these like more committing to it than just like oh I'm gonna own one of those in a few years or whatever but like once I really started like I'm ready to buy one I have the money whatever then we really started getting into like how the car should look and how we both feel like it will look really really sick and we have a good idea of what we want it to look like and it will be sick I promise you that <laughs> the car is gonna be a show car and I'm gonna slide the piss out of it don't worry about that I've seen drift cars at shows. They have a little nicks and dents or whatever, but they still look sick. That's what I want for this car. Anyways, back to story time. So, okay, there's a lot of wind in the last, in the second part of the video where right after I unveiled the car and I told the story about how I ended up with this one. So, so the whole story being, there was one random day I decided to go on Craigslist and started looking for them. I typed in Nissan Skyline, Nissan GTST, GTR, whatever. I found one. It was like perfect, perfect condition. Like the most perfect that any of them can get. Um, low miles, brand new paint, all OEM interior, no dash bubble. Uh, I don't know, the whole car just seemed mint as hell. Little bit of engine work, brand new coilovers, inky wheels, like the whole nine yards. Like it was a nice, pretty car just to drive. And I was in contact with the guy for two weeks trying to get a loan for the car. Got denied three times, like I said. And then after after the third time of getting denied, I just like lost hope and decided I guess I'll just save up for the car and purchase one later in the year with just all cash just save up buy one and then that's in that idea got thrown out the window as of recently when i finally got a loan and i contacted the guy like hey is the skyline still available he told me yeah i was in contact with his friend and the owner of the skyline because the owner of the skyline was having his friends sell it for him on craigslist and facebook and all that stuff i was in contact with both of them and uh, I get home from work Thursday. I call the guy up. He's hyping me. Um, he's like getting me really excited about the car, telling me everything works great. It's a perfect car. You're gonna love it. All this stuff. Can we do the transaction in cash? Whatever. Like actually making a deal about it. Like where I'm gonna buy the car. I'm gonna pick it up on Monday on a truck because it was like two, two and a half hours away, two hours away, whatever, in Naples. And I get a text the next morning at 10 o'clock from the guy at 9.30 and he told me can't sell the car anymore, backing out. Sorry dude, sorry that you got the loan and I, I, I just can't sell the car anymore. My wife, me, me and my wife got into an argument. I can't sell the car anymore. Uh, she wants to keep it for sentimental value, what have you. Got really pissed. Tried contacting him all day long. Tried calling him, texting him, whatever tried contacting his friend he ended up like just going ghost on me after a while and I never heard back from the guy and on top of that he made a post on Facebook that he was keeping the car he posts constantly on Instagram of him fishing and what have you so I know he's on his phone for sure on his phone he didn't lose his phone or I don't know lose service from his carrier for that whole day like I don't think that's possible and he deleted the post, and he deleted the post. So, I don't know. Whatever, dude. You know who you are. I don't like you. But I like this car. It's gonna be nicer than yours, don't worry. So be jealous. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said that. To see, uh... So, I don't know what happened. It, Take three. It, like, screwed up. I'm trying to film this video and it keeps screwing up. Anyways, long story short for the car that I have, found it on Craigslist. Um, at the same time that I actually found the other one that I was talking about. And I just kind of skimmed past it because I didn't really like it that much. Um, 
um, funny how that works out. Anyways, so found it again, went there, looked at the car, liked it for the price, bought the car, have the car, own the car, sitting outside. Oh, I thought you can see. <laughs> so like, comment, subscribe, follow us. And like I said before, I own a Skyline now. I've been down bad, I've been broke before, yeah Dog, I couldn't even quote, yeah, yeah, yeah This song right here, I sat and wrote, yeah